we're also going to uh, go through some pictures which need to be framed. So I will go to the picture frames tomorrow and take all this stuff to be framed. And but before it's put, put away in the frames, I'm going to just go through it all. It's quite interesting. That's the Parthenor we've done another video about, so I won't bother with that one. This is a gouache by Preziosi. And when you're buying these Preziosi pictures, you want to be able to check they're by him. And with these, you either need to be signed by him or initialed by him, or they need to be the same as the lithographs he had made as well. So you can identify them from the lithographs as well. You didn't always sign them. So this one is not signed. Um, it does say Albanese on the back, which is a word he puts on many of his pictures when he was in Al Albania. Um, sometimes uh, th these are French. Sorry, I'm going to put that a different way. Some some pictures that are I buy, which I hope hope to be by Preziosi, turn out to be French because the French had a colonial way of painting, Orientalist way of painting, and they look virtually the same. But this one is going to be this one will be Preziosi. I'm a hundred percent sure. So when it's framed, we'll have to have a glass back on it. I'll leave them out, just going to have a frame made. This is Maltese. This is by S. Attard Print, and it's titled In Cedar Creek. My grandmother used to live there. S. Attard in Cedar Creek. So the problem I have here is do I frame it like that? Or do I frame it with all the information. I'm going to frame it like that because I want people to see a signature and the pencil work. It should be framed like that obviously but I'm going to I'm going to let, let it all hang out so to speak. The, the foxing is, is quite bad on that one um, so it's not going to be a conventional decorative item anyway. This is a similar story, S. Attard, Marson Seto Harbour, that's the Anglican church. We'll have a simple frame, maybe a black frame made for those. This one is another one, and he's called it Reflections. S out at our Reflections. That's a canon, that's a pretty, a pretty Maltese thing. It's a canon buried into the quayside so that people can tie their boats to the, more of their boats to the, to the harbour side. This one is another one, S at our. Working proof, it says on it. I have to be creative with that as well when it's framed. I think I'll, on, this, on this occasion, I will cut that off and have it put on the front of here in a new mount made because that mount is damaged. That's a schooner in the harbour here. It could be anywhere, but I think it's going to it's going to be Malta. I can't see anything making it Malta. Not sure. I think that that's Manuel Island Bridge, and I think that's St Luke's Hospital. So I think it's a it's a made up. Thing. This one here, this is London by S. Attard, Artist's Proof. That's the, the lines at the bottom of Nelson's column.
This one here is Kenneth Holmes, a print, four of 100, signed in pencil. I think it's Pieta Creek. That's a nice print. With Manuel Island. No, it's not Manuel Island, it's um, Tashbish. Samaison Gardens, that's lovely. That needs a, a frame. This is a nice old map, which is going to go into this Maltese frame. I bought a blank, an empty frame, spare frame. So this will go into a nice cream mount and will be framed. That map is Italian and probably dates from before 1650. So it's between sort of 1560, 70 to 1640, 50, something like that, judging by the walls. Fantastic mountain, that is absolutely fantastic. Okay, this is Kenneth Holmes, Medina, Medina, in silhouette. Beautiful little square buildings farm building in the foreground. It looks like that, it still sort of looks like that now. Beautiful thing. Needs, needs a frame desperately. Another one, Kenneth Holmes. 8400, this is St Paul's Bay. Before they ruined it. It doesn't look, look like that anymore, I'm afraid. Wish it did. Carbonaro, Paul Carbonaro, print. This one is printed in colour, 37 and 40. That will be a Maltese scene. Some, some woods, some hills, some farm buildings. Beautiful, good condition, very lucky. Mount's fine as well, just needs a frame. I'll have a simple frame made for that one. This one here, Saliba. I think it's Saliba. Fifty-two or seventy-five. Beautiful impression. You can see the ridge around the edge. Sepia tones. We'll obviously, Alta, obviously, and Dina. We'll get again. We're lucky. It's clean. It can be framed. Paper's just been sliced unevenly. Lovely, wonderful thing. Hastings Gardens, Malta, Oscar Tester. It's a print. You can, you can see the impression apart from the actual image. You can see how, how it's been pushed on. That is uh, Hastings Garden, which overlooks Slima. And he's done a fantastic drawing, sorry, fantastic print. Beautiful thing, lovely monogram he's got here. And he's inscribed it to accentuate the shape of the, the tree. It's got a shade, beautiful thing, good detail. That's a lovely thing, lovely thing. Fantastic signature and pencil. That, the value of that will go through the roof at some stage, through the roof. I think this is Saliba as well. I'm not, I'm not sure that they are, the Salibas are Salibas, but I think that is a Saliba. That is the sea. I don't know how he's done that, how he's done that picture. I I think he's put some paint onto a t into a tank of water and floated floated the paint and then put the paper straight onto the top of the 
the floating paint. I think that's a mar I think it's a marbled effect. I it might have been painted. If it's painted, it would have taken forever. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a mar marble effect or painted. The original. This is a print. This is a print. Uh, Nine and fifty, ninety-seven. So I don't know. Um, I think it's an interesting thing. And it, because it's again, you can feel the impression mark. It's a quality thing. This is a watercolour of Liha Belvedere, which is. I think it's in the garden of the Prime Minister of Malta's house, official residence. So it's a nice, it's a nice vivid picture. The colours are very wacky, but I like the, I like it very much. The mouth is dirty, that needs to be changed. I can't read the signature, it's written down somewhere else here. Uh, Jenny Weekly from England. Sorry, the folly at Lee, not the Belvedere. The Belvedere's something else. It's Malta. It's it's original. It's colourful. That will that will take a, a big mount and, and look good anywhere. That's a great great item. I was surprised that I was able to buy that. That's one of my own. This is a print by Jean Williams, Joan Williams. Again, you can see the impression marks. So it's a nice quality artisan print made laboriously. Not a G-clay print, not an inkjet print. And it's called Rock Stream Landscape, Joan Williams, Artist Proof. There's no number on it. And it has a good, very, very good texture. I think that is probably going to be Malta because it's in Malta. And it has got rubble walls. It has got some uh, quarries. Uh, it could be England, because we do have some of this ourselves in England. It could be up in Yorkshire, it could be a number of places. But so I'll, have to I'll have to check it out and find out where it is. It's worth more to me here if it's Malta. Um, I'll have it framed anyway. I think the colours are nice. I think it's original. Um, again, a lovely thing to look at, beautiful thing to look at. I need to do some work on her to see, to see who she is. Okay, so we had a look at these prints. Next time you see them, they'll all be framed. Thank you. Bye-bye.